Hey guys, this is Mike Barnes, the financial first responder. Hey, I had the opportunity of a person by the name of Matilda on LinkedIn that asked me a question. And I thought that question was so impactful that I decided to shoot a video about it. So what was her question? See, the title of this is your retirement income. And her question had to do something with what I'm about to say the top three reasons why people miss the mark. Now you may be saying, Mr. Financial First Responder, what are you talking about missing the mark? That sounds like something out of the Bible. Well, to be perfectly honest, a lot of times people miss the financial mark. So without further ado, let's talk about the question that Matilda asked me today. Matilda, you asked me, you said there are several reasons why many people are not saving enough for retirement. And I came back and said, here are the top three. So since her question was, why is it at least three reasons why people are not saving enough for retirement? I wanted to answer Matilda directly because I thought that was a great question especially for my YouTube audience, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, because most of y'all probably have some of the same issues. So the first issue, Matilda, is a lack of financial literacy. Now we have this young man and he's got books in front of him, but many individuals do not have a clear understanding of how much they need to save for retirement, how to effectively manage their finances to achieve their retirement goals, and this can lead to inadequate savings, Matilda, and plans are missed and opportunities of growth are gone. So that would be the first reason, Matilda, and for the rest of you guys. The second reason is immediate financial pressures. Now this individual, he looks like he's in a meeting, he's talking to other people, but the bottom line is, People often prioritize immediate financial needs and wants over their long-term savings. What do I mean by that? They plan their trips, they plan their weddings, they plan car purchases, they plan places and things that they wanna do with others over the weekend. But when it comes to their retirement, they have high levels of debt, living expenses, life, uh, lifestyle choices that they make consuming significant portions of their income, leaving little to no room for retirement savings. Now, Matilda, I hope that's answering some of your questions of what are the top three, because we know financial literacy is one and then financial pressure is the other. Now, you're probably saying, well, wait a minute, financial first responder. I hear what you're saying, but I don't totally agree with you. Well, I'm glad you don't because here's the next one. It's procrastination and underestimation. You see, you'll see these couples, you see these people in the movie theater, they are, and, and, and now people watch TV from home and watch all the movies at home because of the pandemic, but many people procrastinate when it comes to their savings and retirement. See, Matilda already knows this, I'm quite sure, but believing that they have plenty of time to start saving later. Additionally, they may underestimate the amounts of money they need to be comfortable in their retirement, leading to insufficient contributions to their retirement accounts. Now, I'll say it like this. If you are a person that has children as well as your parents. You are what we call, you're in the sandwich generation. That means that you're possibly taking care of your children who are now going off to college and you have your parents who are older. So you're in between, you're in that peanut butter jelly time or that bologna sandwich time for those people who remember what bologna fried bologna sandwiches are or maybe you're having a banana sandwich. I don't know. But one thing I do know is, is that the older we get, the more likely if you have children and you have your parents still living, you're gonna be in the sandwich generation. 
And so you're going to procrastinate and you're going to underestimate how much you need for retirement because you're caring, you're caring for two separate generations outside of yourself. Now, I would say to you this, understand, and there's some professionals that would say this as well. I had to pay for college. My parents didn't pay for college. I know that we always want to do better than what our parents did for us. But if that means you're paying for college and you don't have a suitable retirement, there is a four letter word I need you to understand real quickly. You wanna know what that word is? Let me tell you a secret. Stop, S-T-O-P, stop. Stop worrying about whether your child goes to school or not. Because guess what? Every child is not meant to go get a college degree. Some of them might have to start out working or some might have to go in the military or some might have to pay their way through school. You see, what I'm trying to get across as the financial first responder to most of you adults is we always want to make sure that our children have more than what we have. The problem is, is that the children don't really respect what you're trying to give them. They're spoiled little brats. Yes, I said it. They think everything should be free. Now, I could be wrong. There's probably some that are helping you in your business. There's probably some that they came home from college and outside of getting a job to earn money for the next school session, they're actually helping you clean up the house and doing all type of things. Maybe, maybe not. But what I'm saying to you is this, is that if you keep worrying about what your children actually get from you, we're supposed to leave an inheritance for our children's children. But at the same time, what we're supposed to do is make sure that our children don't have to worry about us being a burden on them. Now, for, for those senior citizens, those people who are in their 70s and 80s, their years have gone as far as earning money. You, if you're in your 50s, you're probably in your peak years. And you're in between the 70, 80 year olds and your I know everything in the world individuals. Your 18 to 20 somethings, right? So I'm saying to you, parents, and I'm saying this very respectfully, if you care more about your, your children's college than they do, then you do your own saving for retirement. Stop. Because guess what? If they want an education, they'll get one. If not, they'll just work or they'll go in the military or they'll just be a deadbeat. Yeah, I said it. Now, stop procrastinating and underestimating your retirement. Get with a financial advisor, a financial planner, the financial first responder, and ask some questions. Look at where you need to be financially. I probably should have put an asset questionnaire in here. I didn't because I'm tired of you people thinking I want your money. I don't want your money. What I want you to do is get a case of the get rights. Get yourself together. Now, we've been talking for a few minutes. Matilda, hopefully I answered your question. So the first one was financial literacy or illiteracy. The second one was that, hey, people tend to not do what they need to do. And then, of course, it's procrastination. So with that said, let's go to the summary. You see, just like this elderly gentleman here, the goal is to live as long as you can, people. And for you to live as long as you can, you're going to need some retirement money. So in summary, most people are not saving enough for retirement due to their lack of financial literacy, their, which leads to inadequate savings plans and their immediate financial pressures that they put on themselves because they go out and try to bail their children out. 
such as debt and living expenses, which take a priority over their long-term savings. And procrastination, that P word, is kicking you in the butt. Combined with the underestimating the amount you need for a comfortable retirement resulting in insufficient contributions. Now, I said a lot, people, but the question is, and hopefully I answered your question, Matilda, is why aren't older people, people in the sandwich generation, not caring about what they have at retirement? Because here's the thing, you lived your life in your 20s, and maybe your parents paid for your college education, and maybe they paid for your car, and maybe they paid for your house, and maybe they helped you with a startup of a business, and maybe they didn't do none of that. The question is, is don't repeat the cycle. Children have to make up their own decisions. I always say, I do today what others want so I can have tomorrow what others don't. Well, one of those things in that saying is, is let people bump their own head and they'll figure it out. And don't be a crutch to them be a mentor to them. So this has been Mike Barnes, the financial first responder. Please like and subscribe my channel. Matilda, thank you for that question of what were the top three. And I hope I answered it. And I look forward to talking to you guys in the future. God bless.